Well there YouTube, Marshmallow for Nexus Devices has been out for about a week now and Chainfire has updated SuperSU and kind of released a root method for it. So this is going to be the root method for the Nexus devices that are running Marshmallow. Let me just show you mine. So we go into settings, about, right there, Android version 6.0, which is Marshmallow. Very awesome. The thing you want to pay close attention to, because we're going to need to make sure we have the right build number, is right here. Go ahead and write down your build number so you can match that up later. Basically, if you have that and your device is completely stock like mine is, I mean, it doesn't have to be completely stock, but it has to be on that build number and on Marshmallow. I'm going to show you guys how to get root access on this device. So to do that, we're going to shoot over to my computer and we're going to download a bunch of things to make sure we have it all set up to do this. All right, so the files we're going to need, there is quite a few, and I'll link everything in the video description down below, so don't worry about it, but this me show you what we got. So this is my server site. You're going to need your ADB and Fastboot files, so go ahead and download this file. If you already have Android SDK, already have the ADB and Fastboot files downloaded, you can skip this step. Other than that, you're probably going to want to go to Drivers, and you're going to want to download the Google Drivers right here. Click on that, and then click on this file. Again, if you already have your drivers functioning, really not a huge issue. All right, so we can skip over those steps as well. So we're going to come over here to the thread here for Chainfire. And we're going to go ahead and look through it, just kind of read through it, get a good understanding of it. It's great to read this first post. But mainly what you want to do is you want to come down here and you want to find your device. And you want to download the correct boot image zip for your device. So I'll give you the code names. Hammerhead is the Nexus 5. Shamu is the uh, Nexus 6, which is the one I have. Uh, Razer is the Nexus 7. Uh, Volantis is the Nexus 9. And Fugu is the Nexus player. Okay? Understand all that? That should be pretty easy. So I've already actually downloaded all of them <laughs> along the bottom you can see um, just because I want all of them. I pretty much have all those devices. So uh, other than that you're going to need to download twerp. So come over here to the twerp site. Again I'll link this and then you just type in your device. So I'm going to say Nexus and right here at the bottom it says Nexus 6 and you want to download the latest recommended link for your twerp image so I'm gonna go down here to this one no 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 oh it is actually the top one so the top one is my latest image and go ahead and download that file as well and then last but not least you're gonna need the latest super suit image which actually you know what I, I could find it on XDA and I may link you to that one but it's also right here uh, beta super suit v5.1 or 5. Point, I'm sorry 2.50 zip and it can be that one or anything newer than that okay all right it has to be that super su zip though if you don't use one older it will not function and you will know that by reading this post okay so we've got everything downloaded hopefully whoo that's a whoo wipe my head that was a lot all right so from here you're going to go into your sdk you can see this is my sdk it's got the adb files in it and the fast boot files so you need those right there very very important once you've got those, actually just go ahead and go to your downloads and just copy all of the stuff you downloaded, the Shamu stuff you downloaded. So I'm going to copy these. Copy. I'll paste them in here. Just for easy reference, right there and right there. It's your Torp image. It's your boot image. Your boot image, go ahead and open up. This is 7-zip and extract it. And you should have a boot image now right there in this platform tools or the Android SDK. So you've got that, everything's in that folder. The last thing you want to do is you want to get that super sue file. And I'm going to go ahead and copy mine in here too and paste it. Oh, it's already in there. Copy and replace. So it's right there. Okay. So now you have all your files in your Android SDK. Now let's go ahead and plug in our device. So there you go. It's plugged in. Now, if you haven't done this already, you need to turn on developer options. And to do that, while you're in about phone just go down here where it says build number and keep tapping on it and then go back and you should see up here developer options then you need to turn on OEM unlock and ADB debugging on that note this will not work unless you already have an unlocked bootloader so if you don't have an unlocked bootloader I have a video on how to unlock the bootloader on pretty much every Nexus device and I, um, definitely check those out you can check them on my YouTube channel on my site rootjunkie.com 
All right, so we've met all of our prerequisites. You may get a pop-up up here about allowing, allowing ADB debugging. Make sure you do allow that, and also give time for your drivers to fully install. It could take a couple minutes. All right, let's go to our device now, or our Android SDK, and we're going to go ahead and say open command window here, and we're going to start typing some commands. This is my favorite part. It's so fun. ADB devices, and if your drivers are functioning and everything's working correctly, you should see your serial number and it should say device. Then you're going to go ahead and type in ADB reboot boot loader. Alright, and this is going to boot your device into bootloader mode. You can see right here it's in bootloader mode. And again, to make sure your device is unlocked, it should say device is unlocked status code 3 right there. Okay, now we're going to type in fast boot devices and the reason we do this here is to again test the drivers in fast boot mode should say um, the serial number and fast boot so we have fast boot we're good to go here now we're gonna flash some files so to do this easiest way to do it is to go in here and say um, hang on I'll get it, it takes me a second fast boot uh, flash if I can type correctly fast boot space flash space boot and then you can type it in but the easiest thing to do is just grab the file you want to put in there like the boot image Whoop, if I can do it I am I always mess this up grab the boot image drag it in and then just hit enter and that goes ahead and flashes the boot image now if you want to keep torp recovery permanently installed I'm gonna show you that method but you can also just boot it but I'm gonna show you the method where we keep it permanently installed so to do that we're gonna type in um, fast boot flash fast boot flash recovery and then here you can just drag in the torp image to the command window there you go so fast boot flash recovery so fast boot space flash space recovery space pull in the file okay hit enter there we go that's done and you know, I actually have totally forgot to um, actually copy over the SuperSU zip to my device, but I'll show you another way to do it. It's kind of fun. So we're actually going to do, um, we're actually going to come over to our device right here. This would be the easiest way to do it. Scroll down with the volume button and uh, keep going. Recovery mode and then hit power to boot it into recovery mode, which is actually going to boot that new twerp image you just flashed over and there it is now when twerp recovery boots up it normally boots up with ADB so we're gonna actually push over that super su zip with ADB so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say allow modification alright now normally you'd go into installs and like downloads and then you would find your file so it's not there right now right so we're gonna push it over so to do that we're gonna type in ADB devices again Again, now it says our serial number in recovery. So now we're going to type ADB push. Um, and then we're going to drag that file in. That super su file. There we go. And then space. And we're going to type uh, slash SD card slash download. Okay. And you can check that file to make sure it's right. Yeah, download. You can actually see it. It's right there slash uh, SD card slash download I mean it says a capital D so I'm gonna use a capital D just to be on the safe side there we go and then hit enter and that pushes that file to the device and it looks like it did it very very quickly so now if we go to installs boom you can see it it's right there shabam we're actually done on our computer at this point and the rest of it is just on the device so we're gonna just click on the file super su and swipe it swipe across while well, that was like hardly a swipe and it already started probably bumped it with my knuckle and we're done so reboot system and this should go ahead and boot us up into your normal stock system we do have the modified uh, boot image and we have custom recovery installed and we have should have root access and that's what we're gonna test here once it boots up so here we are we are totally booted up and uh, we should be able to go in here into our app drawer and scroll down and find SuperSue. There it is right there. 
open it up and say no thanks shabam you have root access on this device very simple very easy um, thanks to Chainfire for putting together the files we needed to get root access on the Nexus devices and on Marshmallow, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm sure there'll be more cool coverage and development on these devices as we learn more about this new operating system. So stay tuned for those kind of videos, and hope you guys have enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie, out.